What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Watkins channel. My subject today is I'm going to do a review um, on a topic about Tommy Sotomayor, if I'm pronouncing his last name correctly. With Vivica Fox on her show, Face the Truth, asking, does he hate black women? Live reaction review. And of course, it's about the subject that many of us as black men are discussing on social media about black females, them wearing fake hair, better known as weave and that funky stuff. So I'm going to review it. And I'm going to share my um, opinions on it. So, uh, shout outs to everyone. And let's get started. He went haywire over her weed. Something black chicks know nothing about is class. Oh my God, really? But will he make amends? Would you be willing today to apologize? She looks so mean, though. You picked on her. Did you pick on someone your own size? Pick on me. Let's do it. Then we start to talk about our future. That's what he told me. He's First off, why would this one, why would this, why would the dyke threaten me? Does anybody know why the dyke threaten me? Why would the dyke tell me, oh, pick on somebody your own size? What, what is that? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Sierra posted a video. The dyke decided to, 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 to threaten me to a fight, I, I guess. That's, that's what they do. Let, let, let's watch. Sierra posted a video raising awareness about the dangers of hair weaves. But then. She was publicly tormented by a controversial radio host. Check it out. Black women and their love. Now, what I love is how these niggas that hate me are going around from video to videos claiming, uh, he ain't no radio show host. Why are you? Who are you? Why don't you shut up for a second and continue to stalk me like you've been doing for years? It hurts your feelings. They'll let you know that show ain't nothing. They called him a, con- a radio show host. Love to Post called me a radio show host, too, sir. Fox News got me a radio show host, too, sir. So I guess Fox and Huffington Post ain't anything any. Uh-huh. You know what we call you? A troll. A fool me is ridiculous. This guy, Thomas, is trolling me on his live stream. Black women don't care about what happens to their real hair. Many of them like the fact that they screw up like her, so now they have an excuse to continue wearing weed. So about six months ago, I decided to take my weave out, and then I realized that my hair was extremely damaged, and I decided to just cut it off. And when I did that, I discovered there was a big scar in the middle of my head, and that my hair was cut into four sections. So that's when I decided... Now, how would you not know that your hair was fucked up like this, that it had been bleeding, that you had scars under here? Think about that, guys. How would you not know that? I to just make a video about it. like wildfires. That video now has over 3 million views. So about a week or two later, I got this email from someone saying that Tommy is like telling me on his live stream. I had a good look for Twitter. How you messed up your scalp? Good look. Later that day, I actually got a private message from Tommy asking me if I would like to join his show. I said, oh hell no, I will not be a part of this. That's when he lost it. She looked like she's had brain surgery by Oswald. I don't understand why a 43 year old man would even try to tear down a 20 year old young black female. Tommy is completely insane and he just cannot stop talking about black women, especially me. Now, do you understand? Now, here's the deal. Here's the deal while I look at this. I'm glad that Tommy is calling black females out about them wearing this fake hair and that they need to stop. I'm in favor of that. I like making videos about it because black females want to, I call them men with vaginas. You know, they want to be manly. They feel they don't have to listen to anybody. If you tell them something, they always want to, you know, give a lot of lip and totally ignore that you're telling the truth. 
they call telling the truth about them hate. They call telling the truth about them um, being negative. They call telling the truth about them. Uh, what's another thing? Another thing they call it. Uh, oh, yeah, putting them down. And I'm like, no, we're telling the truth about you. But one thing I'm learning about this footage and the videos that I make about the same topics is uh, they never say that Tommy is lying or that I'm lying. But yet, they want us to just totally ignore this. And thanks to social media, allowing us as black men to be able to openly discuss this to other viewers that's online, black females have the audacity to get upset. But yet, oh, but yet they don't want to quit wearing the fake hair that has maggots in it. They have worms in it. They have lice in it. Some uh, black females, unfortunately, may they rest in peace. Some of them had maggots, uh, worms, uh, lice in their hair so bad that uh, uh, some, some of it cost them their lives. So we're going to continue this coverage more. Here we go. See how hypocritical Vivica Fox is, and don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of her. But you see how out of control that our black women, black females are in America. She totally ignored all of the good points that Tommy mentioned from a health perspective, a health habit perspective. But what if she turns around and mention? This is why a lot of times. Uh, Brothers is just just washing their hands of black females of black women in America because they're so hypocritical. It's almost like a car that has gotten into an accident and the car is total. No matter how bad you want that car fixed. The collision shot has already told you that it's total. It can't be repaired. So just total it out and go on and go get you another new car. So brothers is leaving black females alone because. Look at this. And then it's crazy to have uh, white women on here about a subject that doesn't even concern them. Now, I like the way the white women handle themselves on this show. Check it out. That's been in business for three years. Why would you try to tell me that crack is bad? I got two more bandos in some cities down the street. Why would you talk about crack? That's what she said. She said, well, I have a hairline, so you shouldn't say anything about it. Another reason. Are you aware that there are women, that the reason why the hair industry is a billion dollar a year franchise, because there are women that suffer from alopecia. There are women that are going through chemotherapy, that they lose their hair. I am proud that the Vivica Fox hair collection makes women when they're going through a very traumatic period in their life. Now y'all need to know, I cut her off. They cut it. So I'm giving y'all the behind the scenes. I cut her off and said, yeah, but what percentage of people are getting their hair done because they have alopecia and all this other stuff? And I said, good point. Don't you go anywhere. Tune in for part two of Tommy Sodom, y'all. With Vivica Fox on her face, so face the truth, asking, "Does he hate black women?" Live reaction review. 
I'll just go anywhere. Okay. No, I'm serious. I really honest to God, she just leave me alone. I do not want to be bothered with her. Okay, now what you want to do? 